This is the Ashmean theory investigating Thelma Alice Todd's death. It is ruled that she committed suicide on December 16, 1935. But is that really what could have happened? Thelma was a beautiful girl with a huge life ahead of her. She was an American actress, so famous, so rich, and the jury said she committed suicide? It just doesn't add up. People say it was suicide, some say it was an accident, and others say it was murder. Let's explore these theories and prove if it could have happened like that, but first, let's get to know Thelma a little more. Thelma Todd was born on July 29, 1906. She always wanted to become a school teacher when she was younger, but her mother forced her to compete in beauty pageants when she was a teenager. She was a hit and was competing for Miss America and came into a very close winning. At that beauty pageant, Thelma was noticed by a Hollywood talent scout who said she had the star appeal. And this is where her career began to rise. She is now well known for her parts in comedic roles such as Monkey Business and many more. Now, the question is, how could suicide be possible for her death? Well, let's explore the facts to make it fit. On December 15, 1935, the night before Thelma was found dead by her housekeeper, there was a party at DeCradro, and she was the guest of honor that night. Thelma had some personal troubles with her restaurant after her father died in 1929. Her restaurant was always a hit, but prior to her death, there, were, there was a poor performance of her restaurant, which caused her to lose a lot of money. It is said by many sources that Thelma was dwelling over this dilemma. At that party, something weird happened to her. Thelma sat down in her reserved seat and saw she was sitting beside her ex-husband, Pascal Diaco. Weird, right? The reason why Thelma decided to divorce him was because of his abusive behavior towards her and his addiction to alcohol. He was humiliated when she left him, considering it was 1934 and women didn't leave men in those days. Some people feel that, that night of the party, he was trying to humiliate Thelma for payback. Pascal purposely set his seat beside Thelma's so Thelma would see that Pascal came in with another lady. He walked up to Thelma, and it is said by some th sources that he told her he didn't really think they were going to seat him with her, and he walked off to a different table with that lady. Thelma was furious and even more humiliated because Pascal also left with that lady after the party. Roland West, the person who operates Thelma's restaurant with her, told her to be home at 2 a.m., since he did not go to the party. She was so depressed and frustrated about what happened, so she walked up the stairs to her apartment and went into the garage. When declaring the case of her death, it is said that she beat herself and locked herself in her car and started it. She made sure the garage door was closed and she laid back and breathed in the carbon monoxide air, which is what caused her to her death, or in this theory to commit suicide. Now, no one close to Thelma was ever aware of anything unusually depressing or horrific in Thelma's life. She was relatively happy. Considering this, let's explore some other points where this could have all have just been an accident. At the night of the party, Thelma was a little furious because of what her ex-husband did to her but it was nothing to make her go over the edge. Thelma felt a little tired and cold after the party, considering it was the cold air of December. It was time for her to leave the party and get back home, so she walked up the stairs to her apartment and realized she was locked out, and she couldn't get in. It was getting more and more cold, and Thelma needed some warmth, so she decided to go in her car and start it for heat. Since Thelma was so tired after the party, she fell asleep in her car, in her garage. 
Her sleeping in her car made her unaware of the fact that the gas was running and that she shouldn't be breathing in this intoxicated air. Breathing in the carbon monoxide while she was sleeping made her fall to her death accidentally. Some sources say that she was physically hurt, but some believe different. But this was a very long time ago, so there is no way of really knowing for sure if that actually could have happened. To make this theory more applicable to your ear, Thelma's mother also said to the press that she thinks Thelma's death was an accident because there was no one she knew of who wanted to hurt Thelma and that Thelma could never be capable of committing suicide. But who knows? She could be right, or all this could have just been murder. But should we even trust her mother? Or is everyone just a suspect? That night of the party, it is said by most sources that Thelma's ex-husband wanted revenge on her for divorcing him. Maybe that could have been a good enough reason for him to murder her. Let's explore this thought. Pascal was so upset, so humiliated over his divorce, and he was always abusive towards Thelma. He tried to make Thelma jealous by walking in with another lady, but that didn't work out so well. And so he felt more humiliated. He saw Thelma leaving the party and decided to follow her to where she was going. Pascal felt so humiliated, so angry, that he snuck up behind Thelma, grabbed her by the throat, and started to choke her. Thelma tried to get away, but Pascal threw her against the wall and started to beat her. When Thelma couldn't move anymore, Pascal put her in a car, started the car, closed the garage door, and left. To make this theory more realistic, Roland West's wife said to the press that she saw Thelma in her car with a man that night of the party. But Pascal must have loved Thelma, so how could he have done that? Maybe it wasn't Pascal. Maybe it was Roland West, her partner for her restaurant. Thelma's restaurant was a hit and was making so much money. Once it started to go downhill, Roland wanted the restaurant for himself to make it successful again, but Thelma wouldn't give it up. Could this really be a good enough reason to kill someone? Well, if Roland were to take the restaurant, he would make lots of money and be super rich. Since he half owned the restaurant with Thelma, if anything were to happen to her, the restaurant would be Roland's. He told Thelma to be home at 2 o'clock a.m., possibly because he was planning a surprise for her. Roland waited for Thelma in, the, in her garage. He grabbed her by the throat and was beating her to death, which caused him to break her nose and have cracked ribs. He was trying to push her into her, the car, but she was refusing, which caused blood to be all over the car doors. Once Thelma couldn't move anymore, he went in the car with her and started the car. That is when Roland's wife saw Thelma in the car with the man, or specifically, her own husband. Roland closed the garage door and left Thelma in there to her death. After Thelma's death, Roland took over the restaurant and renamed it. He made thousands of dollars from that restaurant and made it become successful again. Both these theories seem good enough reasons to have killed this beautiful woman. Well, what do you think was the real reason for Thelma Alice Todd's death? Could it have been what was ruled in court, that she committed suicide? Or could it have been an accident, like her mother says it was? Or could it have been Pascal Diaco, Thelma's ex-husband, for his revenge because of how he... She humiliated him by divorcing him. Or last, could it have been Roland West because of how he wanted to make more money and to do that, he needed to own that restaurant. But Thelma wouldn't give up the restaurant, so he needed to kill her to be able to own it fully. We will never know for sure what the real reason is, but these theories are pretty close to figure out what could have happened to Thelma Todd the movie star.